Rushford, Minnesota is not home to a traffic light, but it did yield a Jackrabbit Sports Hall of Famer. The small southeastern Minnesota town is the home of Steve Hyden. Only one other Jackrabbit tight end collected more yards than his 1,499 in yellow and blue. He caught 112 passes throughout his career, three times earned All-North Central Conference recognition, and capped his college tenure with an All-America accolade in 1998. A third round pick of the San Diego Chargers in the 1999 draft, he would spend 11 seasons in the National Football League, and he parlayed his success as a player into a coaching career. 2020 marks his eighth year on staff with the Arizona Cardinals. Steve Hyden, one of the newest members of the Jackrabbit Sports Hall of Fame, is with us. Steve, first off, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's uh, quite an honor for me. When Justin Sell called and said, you're going into the Hall of Fame, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? What was the reaction when Justin gave you that news? Uh, just, just, a, just a neat feeling. You know, it's, it's one of those things you just – you work hard your whole career. You don't expect any accolades or anything like that. You do it because you love it. And, and um, you know, it was just a neat feeling for me. Who was the first person you told, and what was the conversation like? Uh, just my wife. Uh, she's, she's also a South Dakota State grad, so uh, kind of a neat, neat deal for both of us, and she was just super excited for, for my son. So. Well, everybody travels unique paths uh, along the way, and yours is certainly one because you didn't come from a huge high school and had all sorts of attention. Uh, tell me about uh, your high school and, uh, and where you came from. Just grew up in a small farm community. It's like it was 1,200 people. Um, grew up on a little hog farm outside of the, uh, outside of the town and, uh, you know, just kind of a real neat, tight-knit community that kind of centered around sports, basketball, football. Um, all that. So it was a neat upbringing, um, hard work, and, and all that was just kind of instilled in you, you know, on the way. And uh, <clears throat> that's why I feel like I was such a good fit for South Dakota State. It was the same kind of feel and people. Um, to me, it was all about the people. That was the reason I went there. Um, it was just a genuine feel about um, not only the coaches, um, but the players and just everything about South Dakota State was just a perfect fit for myself. You had the unique opportunity to play for multiple head coaches when you were with the Jackrabbits. I'd love to hear about that. Yes, yeah, so start out with Mike Daly, and uh, you know that, that was a good experience for me. You know, I was just a young kid just trying to fit in and, and work hard and, and do my thing. And, and as it went, obviously, John took over, and, and he was absolutely – you know, great for, for my growth and experience and kind of mentored me as, as I moved on from South Coast State and the NFL. <clears throat> I don't know where I would be, to be honest, without the group of people I had around me uh, at that time in my life. So, um, you know, I have, I have so many people to thank for kind of the growth um, as I went from South Coast State to the NFL. What do you think is the biggest reason for your success? I think it's really just the people around me. Um, you know, that, that kind of helped me through. I think anytime you succeed in life, you really got to look who's around you, who's, who's helping you, um, and kind of leading you in the right direction. I think it starts with my, my family, my parents, <clears throat> just kind of showing me the way, how to work hard, um, you know, how to be thankful for the things you have. And, and um, you know, it's, it's really about the people. And I think that's, that's the reason South Dakota State is such a great place. And you brought it up earlier, but the fact that it's not just a place that you played college football at, but it's a place where you got to meet your wife and become a, a family as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's, again, South Dakota State's given me so much, including my wife. So, um, yeah, a, a great, great deal has come from there. What's it been like for you to witness from a distance where it came from? Because we certainly can tell the jokes about the, the trailers and Coughlin alumni and the crown field and all of that. To see that and to see where it, where it is now with the, the burgeoning facilities and to see what Stig and the crew have helped build, uh, what sort of pride do you take in that? 
Yeah, I think maybe that's the reason I say it's all about the people all the time. Because when we originally went there, right, there wasn't there wasn't much for facilities. Um, no, but when you add all these facilities and amenities and, and everything to, you know, kind of the feel of the school, um, it's a neat deal. And the development, the development that, that John has continued to grow and build that program, it is neat to, to watch from afar what's happening there. Um, and to come back, I think I came back in 2012 and looked at the facility. Um, it was phenomenal what's, what's happening there and how it's grown. Why did you get into coaching? You know, I never really intended to. And then um, I missed the game so much when I was done. You know, playing as long as I did, you're in your mid-30s when you're done, and there's really not, not much to fall back onto. So um, I just missed it missed being around the, the people and, and the competitiveness. It's hard to find anything else that competitive, um, you know, in the business world. So just miss football, I guess. Why is it so important for you to have stayed in touch with everybody here at SDSU? I know you're part of the, the auction every year. Uh, why is that so important to you? <clears throat> I think as I, you know, as, as I left the school and, and, moved on you're so busy with all your stuff the older I get the more I feel that I need to give back in some form or fashion because that school's given me so much um and and you know I just feel like I continue to to need to be more and more involved with what they're doing there they're they're doing some special things and it's a special place and I just feel that that I want to be involved in what's the best stig story you have Oh, the stink stories. You know, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not a, a big storyteller. I can just tell you, I just loved how, how you knew when you, when you were playing for him, he cared about you. Right. And when you have a coach who cares about you, you want to work your tail off for him. And that's, that's to me, that kind of encompasses stick. Was he uttering holy nutmeg even in his first couple of years? <laughs> there were some of those. Yeah, there were some. Of those. We talked about it a little bit, but I want to give you an opportunity to uh, acknowledge your family as well and tell us about them. Uh, yeah, wife Jessica, and then I have uh, three kids, Madison, Presley, and a little son named Walker. And uh, that's kind of the reason that, that I work and, and, and go about my day and put all the time is for, for uh, them four people. So they mean the world to me. That's awesome. Do we need to send some jackrabbit gear or are they all decked out? Please do. Please okay. do. We'll proudly wear that stuff. All right. We'll make sure we get you some extra stuff, Steve. That can be taken care of. Well, uh, again, just appreciate the time so much and uh, congratulations on being uh, a member of the newest class of the Jackrabbit Sports Hall of Fame. Tyler, appreciate you, bud. Thank you.